Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about a letter to father which is written by H. Govindaya. Let us first see about the author. H. Govindaya is born in the year 1954. He has written a lot of Dalit poems in Kannada language. For a long period he was associated with Dalit Sangarsha Shramati and he is a publisher of Panchama. Panchama is a magazine which will be written once in two weeks. He gets associated with Panchama for almost 10 years until 1985. He has worked as a lecturer at Mysore University and the Karnataka Open University. Very recently before two years he became deputy registrar. Now let's get into the poem A Letter to Father. He is writing to his father, saying him or letting him know that what he is doing presently in his life. So since he is staying in some other place in a very long distance, he is writing to his father and letting him know what currently he is doing. The poem starts like this. Father, the application that I have submitted then has earned me a job today. So it's in very simple English. We can just understand as we read it. He says, once I have written an application, you know that, and that application has offered me a job today. Don't keep looking for me anymore. So he says, don't be afraid, don't be searching for me. I'm somewhere here around. Don't ask the Gauda to write a missing ad for the paper. Gauda means a head of the family or head of the community. In this poem, I guess that Gauda is referred to someone, someone as the head of a community. This poet is asking his father not to give a, an advertisement in the newspaper saying that his son is missing. Tell mother also not to cry. Tell her I will be back home any time now. So he affirms that he will be back to home. Tell mother not to cry, not to worry about me. Let's see the next stanza. The job in our village itself or in a surrounding one, it's not temporary, you see. So he says the job that I am working now is inside our village itself or it's somewhere here around our village. And you see it's not temporary, it is a permanent one. Until then, the work here is to build a dam generate electricity he tells that till i get the permanent job my work is to build a dam here and to generate electricity we plan to supply it to our village as well in this line he affirms and confirms that the electricity will be supplied to our village also next line Salary will be paid in a lump sum after the dam is built. Now he confirms his father that he will be getting his, his salary in a lump amount after the work gets completed. Next stanza. When mother was ill for the loan he gave, glaring derisively at me. So I have already said that Gauda means the head of the community, a person who is the head of the community. Now this family has lended money from the Gauda when, when the poet's mother was ill. Now the poet is saying if Gauda asks the money back, next line, if the Gauda insists that it be paid with bonded labor, in this line the poet says if Gauda is asking the money back with an agreement, next line, Tell younger brother to ready himself to go and drudge. From this line we can understand that the poet has a brother. Okay, he is asking his father to send his younger brother to work under Gauda. Meaning of drudge here is dull work, some simple petty works. So he is asking his father to send his younger brother for a small petty work. I too will come. Now he promises that I will be back. I too will come home very soon. That's what he says in this line. Tell the Gauda father, tell him without fail, I will come and hear it. 
so he again promises his father that i will be back very soon and also inform gauda that i will be back and also clear him the amount that we have to pay him i hope this video helped you to learn about the poem a letter to father for more videos keep yourself subscribed to this channel if you want me to discuss about a novel or a poem then do write to me on the comment box thank you see you again soon